I gotta take Junior to the vet so that he can get better, hopefully. beautiful people check out my shirt i got it from my buddy ron tron and uh yeah it's cool it's uh oh man get that thing out there and uh it's awesome check it out it says so before we get too deep in this video i'm thinking about doing this thing where i talk with you guys about what's going on in the video after the fact that i've shot it dang it what do you guys think about that? I see a couple of my favorite YouTubers do this technique and I think it really helps for me that their storytelling is, is enhanced by them taking a moment to talk to the camera about the video that they shot the day before and just kind of include it in the same video. We'll feel it out, see how it works. Leave a comment down below after the video is over if you think it did help enhance the video or leave a comment down below if it was just too distracting and you couldn't pay attention and I'd like your opinion. Thanks. Ron, great to finally meet you at Tinley and all you other wonderful people that I got to meet at Tinley as well. That was fun. Can't wait to do that again. We got a lot of stuff to do today, guys. Ed is coming here to replace my paper. So yeah, if you watched the previous video, link in the description right here, where Ed came by and brought me his fancy paper, well, I ran out of it and I'm sad because the paper's freaking awesome. I didn't realize how awesome it was until I had to go back to this newsprint stuff and as soon as I laid my hands on it, I could tell that I was like, uh, it's just, I can feel it drying on my hands. The paper's got this drier stuff in it that just keeps the papers from sticking together. And just, I can feel it now. And now I'm, now I'm, now, I'm, now it sucks. Now I need Ed's paper. So luckily he's coming down here to bring me some. So that this fancy snake doesn't have to stay on this newsprint anymore. Huh, you don't like this newsprint, do you? I don't like it either. I'm sorry. Ed's coming! Uh. You know what happened to my lens? It broke. I had it on the tripod, pushed the tripod over accidentally, and it fell. And right here, you can't see it on the camera, but the lens is actually bent in, so I can't zoom out all the way. And you zoom in all the way, but when I go to zoom out, the inside piece that zooms past, it can't get past this point right here. Luckily, this thing is fully covered. Fully covered, so I'm gonna get it repaired free of charge. Woohoo! So here's the other paper. I still got a little bit of remnants of it. And it just feels so much nicer. I can like rub my skin on it. Ugh. Oh, and it doesn't feel bad on my skin. It feels like it's just, oh, man. But I won't even con contemplate doing that with this newsprint anymore, so. Yeah, this is what it is. Come on, Ed, let's get here. Come on, come on. We're taking the boys trick-or-treating. It's Halloween here in pre-recorded video land. You <laughs> Check out these costume boys. Hey! <laughs> hey, Noah. What Spike. do you know? I know. Anacondas. What about anacondas? That they're huge, they're big, bigger than Halo, and there's a snake bigger than them, and the snake bigger than them is Titana Boa. And it's big enough to swallow a crocodile or an alligator. It's a huge snake. Anacondas are big too, but smaller. They could de definitely swallow a monkey. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, monkeys are smaller than alligators. Even though Titana bows are big, and the anacondas are still big too, but smaller. That's all I know. It, oh, and Spike. What do you do? Oh, no. And what are you supposed to be, Moosh? <laughs> What is she supposed to be, Molly's? 
she's a crawling baby. Huh. The, the little snowball? I don't know. <laughs> she's nothing right now. Well, nothing. Nothing? Nothing costume. Nothing? <laughs> Ooh, scary dragon. Hey, Eli. What do you know? I know. Velociraptors. What about Velociraptors? That's the super PD and that's what I know. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take Junior to the vet so that he can get better, hopefully. And once and for all, it seems like a lot already. That's a lot, right? But first, we gotta run. Invigorating. It's time to clean up. I moved the tripod like a loser and see if that worked. <laughs> Look who's here. Recording now. Hey guys. <laughs> paper! What is that for? Fresh paper. What is that for? It's for the snakies, my guy. How are we gonna get it out of there? people we're gonna change out the paper one snake at a time we're gonna drive everybody wild you know it's me when I roll through your town and here's how this works folks Ed will custom cut the paper to whatever size you desire it's a thing of beauty it's a thing of beauty Look at it, and it feels so nice. I'm telling you, just like. I feel like I wanna strip down naked and just lay on this stuff. And once Ed leaves, once Ed leaves, <laughs> I might do just that. And it feels so good on your skin. Like what I was saying this earlier this morning is like, that other paper, I didn't even wanna touch it with my skin because it felt like it was drying me out. This stuff is so nice that I just wanna keep rubbing it. Should I take her out next week? Leave a comment down below if you want me to take her out next week and see if we can play around with her a little bit. All right, well, what, what can people do if they want to get this paper? Just hit me up at cmcreptiles at gmail.com. Just send me whatever size tub you have or cage and I'll cut it. I'll give you a price first, of course. Um, there are minimum orders for these bigger sheets uh, in the shipping. You know, it's not too bad, but this is heavy paper. So if you get a large, the large sheet order, it could be in the $50, $75 range in shipping. And this is heavy camera too. That's why I'm shaking a little bit here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I was too. Um, you might not be able to get the door door hand service, personal no, delivery no. service. But, <laughs> if but, you're local, I will. Yeah, but you get the paper. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, Ed. No problem, bud. Thank you. Well, that's great. But for some of you guys that don't actually use paper, you're like, well, you don't really help me out there, Brian. I don't use paper, so it doesn't matter how cool the paper product is. 
Freedom Breeder just came out with a new coconut substrate. And I had been using it for the past couple weeks before I decided to make a review on it and check it out. And I gotta say, I like it. I like it. It's the thing that's different from this substrate than other coconut substrates is that it's really thick, chunky pieces. Look at the size of some of the chunks of that stuff in there. And how that helps, it seems, is that the urates don't seem to make it down to the tub. Before it was often that I was scraping urates off the bottom of the tub still, even with the coconut stuff. I haven't had to do that yet with this, uh, with this bigger chunk stuff that the Freedom Breeder has. Somehow the bigger chunks just keep the urates from making it down to the bottom of the tub. I, I'm assuming that's what's happening here. And some of you are probably thinking, oh, you're sponsored by Freedom Breeder. That's why you're just talking up their product. And to that I say, you don't know me. I mean, you do kind of know me a little bit, especially if you watch every one of my videos. But my point is that you don't know me 100%. And I do try to put 100% of myself into the videos. It's hard when the camera's rolling sometimes. It's like things change. Once you hit record, you know you're recording and all the stuff that rolls off the top of my head changes a little bit. And I'm still practicing and working on not doing that and just letting everything else go and just trying to forget that the camera's even there. That's when I think I do my best stuff anyway, so. But I would not say something good about a product if I didn't think it was good myself. Yes, I am sponsored by Freedom Breeder, but it's not like they came to me and said, hey, we want to sponsor you because you're awesome. I've been using their products already. And I went to them and said, hey, you guys are awesome. What do you think about sponsoring me? I'm awesome too. And uh, luckily they agreed because it's really helped me be able to put more time into the videos and more time into what I actually want to do. It's really freed me up to do that. So it's... It's a no-brainer. And plus, they've got great stuff, so it's, it's easy for me. But if there's something I didn't like about it, I would tell you what it is. And I have told you what problems I've had before, so it's, yeah. I'm trying to be 100% legit here with this stuff. Check this out. Pretty cool, huh? So you can kind of see what's going on with Junior's face here. It looks extra bad because he's a deep in shed, but you know, his face keeps swelling up and his eye on this side keeps swelling up and it'll go down for a while and I'll drain it and then it'll stay down and it just, it'll fill back up and I've been putting off going because I really don't want to take the next step, which is I believe surgery and having to put them under because snakes don't do really, really well, really well when you put them under. I think especially pythons with their one lung, but I don't, think he, I, don't, I don't want him to keep having to go through the draining and the, the filling up and the draining and filling up, so to the vet we go. Come on, buddy. So Junior destroyed his bag, pooped all in it. I didn't film at the vet because uh, I filmed there a couple times before and doctor seems okay with it, but it also, I think, distracts him, so I figured I didn't want to have any distractions this time. Luckily, I had a backup bag. <laughs> I had to go get my bowling bag out of the car. Awesome thing about that is that it does have uh, little vents on it, so we got Junior in a bowling bag. It's even got a little flap to keep him happy. It's almost like it was made for snake transportation. So you can see that his face is still a little swollen on that side. They weren't able to completely drain it. We're gonna put him on another course of antibiotics and I'm going back in tomorrow morning. They're gonna put him under, take x-rays to see what's going on inside his skull and we'll go from there. I'll keep you guys updated. But for now, we'll get Junior back in his enclosure. I think it's time to go trick-or-treating. You guys ready for trick-or-treating? Yeah! <laughs> Where's my pumpkin? Daddy, go look for a pumpkin. You explain the cactus costume and how it all happened. Oh, coolest costume at all. Oh my God, <laughs> that thing is so heavy. Uh, cactus costume, I want best my cactus pumpkin. costume ever. I want my pumpkin. Noah told me randomly, Mommy, I want to be a cactus this year. I was like, awesome. How the heck am I gonna make a cactus costume? So I was trying to think of like a plan of attack for making one. And then my mom and I randomly were at some store, like a home goods kind of store. And there were like two costumes. This was back in, I think, August, late July. And there were two cactus costumes in the store. And I was like, no way. And it's great. 
He's a cactus in a pot. It's perfect. Here you yes. go, pumpkin boy. That's a good one right there. Who am I? You look great. I have the drivers from here. My name is Inigo Montoya. <laughs> hey, five hit five fingers. Look at them. Five. <laughs> okay, you're not the man who killed my father. No, I'm not. But I have I made a prop. I made a, a six finger a glove. glove. You gotta get to so wear I can those. have it, hand it to people so I can kill them. <laughs> And think of all the stuff on the outside as watermelon bars. <laughs> Halloween time now for me is a fun time with the kids and we get to go hang out and they get to walk around and play dress up and it takes me back to my childhood when I got to dress up and I still do dress up obviously if you watched the vlog the other day. <laughs> the big challenge for me this year is going to be how much candy can I not eat. I'm really trying hard to get back into shape and health. Not that I'm like totally detritus and messed up but I, I want to like be in top notch quality health and candy is hard for me to resist we're gonna have to see i think we're gonna have to donate their halloween candy i know we did that last year actually but i think i got to a lot of it before we made the donation so hopefully this year i've got a little more self-control and i don't just pile in there i mean look at all the candy these guys got oh man when i was running out to go get my bag of candy, I got my shirt caught on one of the little pull-out trays from the Freedom Breeder rack. That one over there. And now I got a hole in... Now I got a hole in my brand new Riley's Reptiles shirt. Dang it! Riley, I need a new shirt. So... Hillary already got rid of all the candy. That's all that's left. I was gonna dump out a big impressive amount for you guys, but this is all she has left. And this this is Eli's share. I didn't even get to pick out anything I wanted. That's okay. This is what I look like in a bikini top after I've eaten all the food and drank everything at the party. So yeah. Uh, you're welcome or I'm sorry depending on which side of the coin you're on. Uh, yeah so let's feed these rats with the small piece of dignity I have left.